Stați vei cad. Ok. Welcome everyone to another Chaos Africa Sync meeting. Like I was saying before the recording started, Chaos Africa is two years, two amazing years. Isn't that amazing? Like, if you can still give me your reactions for recording sake, nice. <laughs> okay, yes. So Desmond was saying that Chaos Africa helped him to start speaking publicly let me let me share my screen so that everyone can see okay all right can you all see my screen mm -hmm. yeah uh, yeah oops okay let me share again i think i stopped it okay that's a good one. So I already said Chaos introduced me to open source. Um taught me how to work on a team. That one is so like very important, very, very impactful thing uh, to happen to anyone. Like being able to collaborate on a team. <laughs> I think that's a good one. Um okay, let me quickly put down my own tool. So for me, chaos helped me to uh, be able to hone my leadership skills. And strengthen, strengthen my collaboration skills. I think I one thing that I I really found so impactful for me is the ability to you know I got to meet more people I got to um collaborate with people on on a particular project or a particular task you know it, it made me also realize that you don't have to know everything you don't have to <laughs> do everything by yourself you can actually reach out to people and you can come together on a task and um it's it's um you you are able to run faster through that much more than you just struggling to do things by yourself and it's, it's been an interesting journey so far yes mary blessing would you like to speak on how chaos has helped you chaos africa yeah I want to hear somebody okay. else's voice apart from mine. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I can always speak about chaos now. So, um, first of all, um, as for to precious, precious when was she, she was the one who introduced me to chaos, right? Um, we, I think I've told this story, I don't know exactly sure, but yeah, we had a flight for after she, she got in, I did not get in, but yeah, her project happened to be chaos. Then she told me, oh, this is what she's going to be doing. So and I think I remember her first act. So she was just like thinking on how to like go about it. Yeah, but it seemed space to get at that, that period. It was doing Oscar Fest 20, 2022. Yeah. And um, I joined. And, you know, after many months of not knowing what to do and how to contribute with my skills, I finally figured it out in a way. And, you know, it's just been growth from there. Chaos has helped me like see um, um inclusion in a different light, right? You know, everything that we do in chaos is just very important, right, and very, very essential. And you know, having to learn, I mean, I think prior to chaos, I didn't know what DI is, right? Um or oh, I, I think I understood diversity, but it just wasn't clicking. But yeah, having to be in chaos has helped me like, you know. Uh, opened me up to that DEI space and, you know, the possibilities uh, in open source as well. Um, that collaboration spirit and just that, um, what's the word now? You know how, I don't know, maybe 
speaking from being in Nigeria, how you are just very, is it anyhow is the word, but you know, when you're in a space like that, you just have to be cautious and you have to be, um, what's the word now? Um, very, um, I'm trying to call Composure, it. Composure, like, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> but, but not really that, but you just you just have to okay, yeah. I think I think the word is or the term is um, having to put other people right um before yourself, right? And you know, just mm -hmm. having others in mind, right, whenever you are looking to say something or take any action, right? Because you don't know who yeah. you're going to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's like how the open source space is, is in general, but you know, there's just a way of uh, how chaos, you know, um allows you to go about this thing that is just really, really interesting. The community is very welcoming um, and, um, you know, people people are very, very respectful. And I think that just opens us in general, but I mean, I, I still have to put it back to chaos because it happens to be my first open source project that I started contributing to. Um, then, um, yeah, I just feel like the whole work with the chaos is just very important and it just makes you feel like you're part of something really big like bigger than yourself mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, yeah it's, it's really really interesting um and um yeah the support the support ah the support is is really really <laughs> yeah nice. i've gotten a lot of support from, from the community from um yeah from almost everyone right and um, i like it here yeah. great thank you thank you Mary blessing I think I also agree with you, like contributing to open source really made me um, very much aware that uh, of, of, you know, of needs of um, realities that are outside my own. And what do I mean? Case in point is the Project Enable event that we did um, on Monday, you know, it made me like, it, it kind of opened me up to a new world that that is apart from what I am used to. I'm able to see, I'm, I'm able to relate with a person with disability like I would in, you know, like I would someone without disability in code, you know. So it, it, it made me more aware that this is a person first before their disability. And that's because of the training we had and the fact that, um, Open source is diverse and more inclusive. It may be more than um, other communities we can ever find. And so, yes, that has actually made me grow. Loving other people that are, that are kind of different from, from me and um, being respectful, respecting them um, no matter who they are. Yes. Thank you, Mary Blessed, for that. Um, okay. So I would like to take one more person. Well, let me just read people's um people's notes so victoria said chaos gave me an opportunity to organize an event and better my experience in accessibility auditing and testing by the way victoria um brian peculiar um Yigar, i hope i'm yes um winifred they they were very very pivotal in organizing that event a big thank you to them. All right. Um, so Moa said, chaos has helped me understand the essence and importance of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Nice. Okay, so um peculiar, would you like to speak about chaos if you're comfortable doing that? Can you still hear me clearly, guys? Yeah, I can. Okay, okay. Okay, let me see. Is Peculiar still there? Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, okay. okay let me take someone else. I'm not sure Peculiar is still there. Um. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Nelson, what can I say? We do like to go. Okay, good day, everyone. 
Hello. Uh, so basically, um, chaos have been able to expose me to a lot of things, especially the meetings. Like at least I create that time to actually be in the meeting. Um, Hearing people talk and how ideas pop out and create beautiful things is just some something great. So, so and I think what made me get interested in chaos very well was the someone that onboarded me. I think it's very blessing. So the onboarding was so encompassing. I had to stay. So I'm still learning so far. Like the community, I know I've chatted uh, this month off on. A new stack I'm trying to learn. I'm, I'm front end, but I'm trying to learn back and I chatted him up and he gave me some materials that will help me. So he pointed me to some stuff online that will resources that will help me. So I've been benefiting so far from chaos. That I just. Mm -hmm. Wow, amazing. Thank you very much, Nelson. Okay, Kinsley said chaos is my first open source project and first design maintainer role. I've contributed to High Profile Project through Chaos and I've met and worked with some of the best minds in the ecosystem. So, wow. Wow, that's good to know, Kinsley. Okay, Ruth, would you like to say something? I see you. So we've been talking about um, how Chaos has impacted us in our career and as human beings. So um, people have said a lot and people are still sharing on the doc. Would you like to say something? Sorry, give me one minute. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. Mm. So while I'm waiting for Ruth, let me just read somebody else's. Um... <laughs> so precious, I've backed everything Kingsley said. Precious, you're yeah, not a designer now. <laughs> okay, but I we we agree with you. Copy, 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 copy. 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 <laughs> copy, copy. <laughs> Is it copy, copy? <laughs> Oh my god. Kings okay. <laughs> okay. So Gloria said chaos was my first contact and introduction to open source. Also taught me collaboration and gave me feeling of belonging in the community. Great. And then uh okay, I've talked about this more. Naomi they said chaos introduced me to open source, helped me grow as a contributor in open source. And taught me how to work on a team. I think I've I've read this before. Okay. Okay. So Pekia was saying chaos. Oh, chaos. You are an amazing place to be. Great. Great. All right, Ruth, are you ready? Or uh, well, you could chat me to go ahead if you're not ready. Oh, well, maybe I have something else that's not similar to Precious' story, since she claimed that. <laughs> <we share everything. laughs> okay, you would like to say something, right? Yeah. So, okay. um, Ruth actually introduced me to Chaos Africa. Right. So, okay. yeah, so I recall, um, I think I met it on, um, uh, on LinkedIn, right? There was an article she wrote. You know, after several attempts, you know, wanting to contribute to a project, I didn't just really know where to look and I messaged her and um, she replied and then shared the Slack link. And from there, that's actually how I started contributing. So, yeah, thank you so much, Chaos. Thank you. I'm working with all the amazing people. I think I can see Midi. I can see Felix. I can see some of, um, some of the best designers you'll find in Nigeria okay. Tiba. And Toria, obviously, that led me to accessibility. So, well, I won't take that personal in the way she's doing a great job there. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kent Kisley. Speaking of Ruth, you know that. Ca ca can we, like, take a moment to actually appreciate our community lead, Ruth? Because <laughs> Chaos Africa is because Ruth started the community right and um not only 
as she helped Kinsley and some others, she has actually been um very impactful for every other person other than Kinsley in the community. So I see that Mary Blessing raised her hand. I'm still going to speak more on that, but let me hear from Mary Blessing. Mary Blessing. Now that you called me, I think I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. but I think I just wanted to add to uh, what Kinsley said, like about, you know, chaos connecting him to other amazing minds. I think that's the same story for me. Why am I, I giving you all how, ideas? Yeah. <laughs> imagine imagine working with Kinsley, it wouldn't have been possible if not for chaos. Imagine that kind of a thing. Then also chaos also introduced me to accessibility. Like who would have thought that accessibility is a thing? Ticket. And mm -hmm. we had like amazing people like um, Victoria, Yika, you know, um mm -hmm. Usayo come up, you know, with all of this stuff and <laughs> It's, it's actually a good place, like it has been a good place for, for me as, as regards to learning, you know, new stuff, new and impactful stuff, so, so yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, All right, I think I'll I'll like... to talk now. Just give me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, sorry, then I'm in front of you know, at the airport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you guys hear me? Yes, we yes, can yes, I can hear you. Yeah, how's everyone doing? People have been making me smile a lot, and people uh around me have been wondering why I've been smiling. So yeah, um, thank you all so much. I think for the people that were around on Monday, we, we cut a cake. But unfortunately, for those virtual people who look for how to how to send the cake to you all, but yeah, I think the question is around how chaos has impacted your career, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So hmm, I have a lot to say. Okay, <laughs> so, I have a lot to say, but I think um first generally like um from the point of chaos, not just even chaos Africa, there are a lot like I literally started my whole career. It's chaos, and I, I hear a lot of people talk about how um this community has given them an opportunity to grow, to to be part of something like the 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 world communist, the inclusivity that is in this community. I can see a lot of how when I started contributing to the chaos project as general in general, how it kind of shaped my career. Like every single thing that you see me do that you feel like um, it's awesome. It has been, chaos has given me the opportunity to do that, to practice that when I did not know anything. And then coming back to Chaos Africa, I think starting this community was a, a very, was a highlight moment for me because like, um, if people do not know like the kind of the history of how Chaos Africa started, it's just that the board, the Chaos board saw that uh, there are a lot of people from Africa contributing to this project. Why not start a chapter? Why not create a chapter to be more in, like, specific to the needs of these people? So it's from the advocacy work that um, early on, uh, um, you know, people that joined the Chaos Project, like Anita, myself, Victory, you know, it was the advocacy work that we did. And it's because of how awesome Chaos is. And that's why we're able to say, tell people to come and join the chaos project and from that advocacy work you know um the chaos board decided to have chaos africa and it has just like it adds a spark to chaos like i elizabeth says it to me a lot of times of how the community how all the contributions that you all are making it adds a different flavor entirely to mm -hmm. the chaos project and it just brings in a lot of warmth there are a lot of things that people are holding and i'm really so grateful for that and a lot of times i can toot horns like um like sometimes i i try as much as i can to put everybody like this is these are the people doing these things right and it has just gone from um, roots doing this to a lot of people in this community being in those um weekly calls you know leading things and it's just very beautiful to see so it gives me a lot of fulfillment um 
it impacted my career. It gives me a lot of opportunities, a lot of all the opportunities I've gotten, every single thing it has been directed and connected from the chaos project. So I'm I'm happy that um everybody shares that similar that similar um thing with me and I'm happy that we get to introduce new things into the chaos project and get to help people see ways that they can be part of part of something right so thank you all so much and yeah that's how chaos has happened and I'm so happy there's so much more we can we we'll all get to do together and even for new contributors that are joining maybe you have not made a contribution before but like I would tell you that it's it's a journey it's a it's a very very interesting journey right so yeah so I will use the whole meeting time to talk <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> thank you very much Ruth thank you thank you so as I was saying let's take a moment to give a lot of reactions and appreciation to Ruth our community lead you know for all the good work she has done with Chaos Africa and um you know, in the early days when the Chaos Africa started, like I said, uh, for most of us, it was um our first open source project. So everything was so new and all of that. And um, you wouldn't even know how to proceed. So reaching out to Ruth and Ruth, we just, you know, take her time to answer all questions, you know, give you tips, even refer you to... um opportunities and links you know she has been like that and she's an amazing soul i want you all to appreciate her you know to say thank you <laughs> for all the good work she has been doing thank Let you Ruth. the reactions yeah thank you okay so i see mary blessing i see mary blessing um raise her hands let me see. Please go ahead. Yeah, no, it's just when uh, Ruth mentioned, you know, for people that have not like made contributions, right? Like, I just wanted to just share that for me, right? I think it was like five months or so I was in the community and I just did not know what to do. So, yeah, it's, it can happen that way, but it's really an interesting thing where you finally get to figure out how your skills can, like, you know, make a difference in the community. So yeah, it's just hanging there. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Mary Blessing. So um I my my best wish for Chaos Africa is that we grow stronger, become um uh, more powerful, <laughs> more skilled. Uh like our vision, sense of vision should expand. Um, that we can actually um get more African contributors to open source through the chaos africa community all right and I, I i know that all of us are going to put our hands together to make that happen thank you everyone um so the second thing so i started with chaos africa it's two years today that's like the second item on the agenda but so let me go to the first one to welcome newcomers uh we have deborah balugui she's still on the call hello deborah May blessing, do you still want to say something? Your hands are raised. Oh, you still raised now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Deborah. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Thank so you. this is your first uh, meeting, right? Yes. This is my first uh, time. You're welcome. How do you feel, you know, coming into the community and everybody is just saying something about the community that you just stepped into? How do you feel about that? Okay, and from what I just gathered, like, I, like it's looking like a family kind of, like, you guys are really um, <laughs> free with yourselves and everything. So, I'm feeling like, okay, I'll be able to like blend in easily, even though I've been waiting for my onboarding with Mary Blessing since, though, I think maybe when she has time, she would respond to me. I think she has been busy also. Yeah, so. She will. She definitely will. Yeah. She's passionate in doing <laughs> that, so I'm sure she will reach out to you. 
So in the meantime, yeah. could you introduce yourself to the community? Tell us what you do, your name, what you do. Okay. So I'm Deborah Balogun and I'm a front-end developer. Yeah, okay. even though I'm... Okay, I just like transitioned to full stack at work, but I think imposter syndrome is still dealing with me. So I'm still saying I'm a front-end developer. Yeah, I... <laughs> Yeah, I write like VJs mostly. Nice. Wow. So um what backend language are you picking up on? Django. 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 Oh. Yeah. Nice. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome to the country. <laughs> All right. So um the next item on the agenda. The disability outreach event was this. We have another new joiner. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Who is that, please? Ruben. Do we have any other person? Oh, yeah, Ruben. hi, Ruben. Ruben. I'm so sorry, I missed you, Hot. Um, Ruben, hi. Could That's you really unmute? Tight. Hello, Ruben. If you can't talk right now, please, you can also indicate in the chat. Where's my charger? Can you hear me? Sorry, I'm having a talk to you. Oh, it's fine. Hi, Ruben. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. You're welcome to the Chaos Africa community. Thank you. I really appreciate being here. Yes. Please, could you tell us your name and um what you do? Um, I'm Argo Ruben Jr. I'm a project product designer. Okay. Nice. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, okay. Do we have any other person? You can just raise your hand. Okay. Fine. Let me see. I think we have. Hi, trust. Oh, hello. You're welcome, trust. Hi. Oh, wow. Sorry. I didn't know I was unmuted. Hello. Is this your first time in, in the community? No. Like no, in the no, community but... meeting? Okay. No, not at all. This is my first time speaking. Yeah. <laughs> okay hi trust it's good to hear hi. your voice thank you <laughs> all right so gloria has raised her hand please gloria go ahead hi hi everyone hi. today can you guys hear me yes very clearly all right um so okay i wanted to add to something ruth and my blessing said okay my blessing talked about been in the community for about five months before being able to like make a contribution and that is something that I relate to although I can't give like a specific number of months that I've been in the community I know I joined like around this time last year and then I was just on the sidelines I wasn't really like doing anything because Again, it was my first uh, contact and introduction to open source. I was still like very confused. I was just there, I would attend meetings, but I would just like be quiet because I didn't even know what's going on and all of that. So I was like that for a while. And then um, I think like earlier this year, I joined the badge reviewers, and that was basically my first contribution to the chaos project the LDI badge yeah so that's basically what I do right now um I just want to like I mean again I'm still learning basically so I just I look forward to like making more contributions because as time goes by I'm gaining like more clarity and like understanding so yeah that's what I'm going to share Thank you, Gloria. I'm happy to hear that you're growing. 
and becoming more familiar with the community and the project. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Hayomide. You want to say something? Yeah. Um, hello, everyone. I just want to say, I, I've been in those shows too, but the best part is once you start contributing, it, it never it stops. Like You just mm -hmm. start having projects to contribute on, and then the phone, mm -hmm. that's the phone starts, and then you like you find yourself um working with like other 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 like um stacks like other people in you know other tech stacks like as as a product designer now I've had opportunity to work with a with um, the central media manager who work and um, learn a little bit about community management learn um the same work with some pro um product managers sorry project managers and then you just find yourself connecting with people and you you find yourself like making discussions and then you get just um like the project just don't stop when they start it's it just mm -hmm. keeps coming yeah yeah thank you very so much I this. okay Thank you very much. So it's okay if um, you're coming in as a product designer, even as a developer, it, there are so many projects that you can contribute to, that you can contribute to that is um outside code contributions. You can contribute to communications, to metric um, development, to metric modeling, to the badging um, event. You know, so many things to design, you know, so many projects that you can contribute to. So um, uh, one thing that I would also like to say is that one of the ways in which you can really get to know how to contribute is by attending the um, Chaos Community Sync Meeting. That's um, the, the uh, mother community. So this is like the regional chapter. So for the mother community, we it the meeting is usually held on Tuesdays at five p.m. West African time, so um, attending would give you like a broad overview of what goes on at Chaos, and then you get familiar and then know where and how to contribute to open source. All right, Kingsley, you raised your hand. Um. Yeah. So I just wanted to digress a bit. You know, I, I think um it's just very remarkable that um so when I joined the project, I recall um my very first attempt was the Chaos DI project, budging project. And it's actually really cool to know that, you know, as of today that project is live. So I'll kind of like mm -hmm. telling to um in this period, right? You know, the Chaos Africa design team been able to pull that up and then of course. You know, I think, um, of course, the Ogo project, you know, ongoing and the amazing work Lamy and Emmanuel is doing. So I think um, kudos to um, the African um, design working group, right? And the good work everyone is doing. So I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now people are appreciating their teams and their group, <laughs> their focus groups. <laughs> all right so um i would love to appreciate my group also my focus group the developers thank you very much thank you to everyone who has contributed one code or the other um and then to the research focus group to the tech um documentation focus group um which other one do we have i hope i'm not missing out anyone the accessibility team you know, uh, the education team, you all are doing amazing. Thank you very much. Okay, so does anybody still have anything to say before we move on to um, the feedback on the outreach event that we had on Monday? Anyone? Let me see, her hands raised. Okay. 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 I think well, that was a good one. To, yeah, okay. Just to Go kind ahead. of like um, give feedback on like the general event. Right. So it was 
personally speaking, it was a very good event. Get to like connect with um getting to connect with um the community there and like even having these sessions. I think the sessions were really, really, really impactful. Um because we got into I think in the initial point, um we weren't sure. Like I think when I did give the keynote and then some people did not indicate if they were, you know, in tech or if they were doing any programming language. But when we had the sessions, we it was really very lively and we were, you know, inquisitive, asking questions. They were even taking notes, which was like I really found that impressive that they were taking a lot of notes, like just writing down things, taking pictures of like the slides. Like I really, really like to see that. And we're able to introduce them to like the different parts of how they can contribute to chaos and I like we also have like the demo, which was also like if you can be very good of that demo, trying to like introduce them to code spaces. Um, but yeah, so the event was a success, and I think what we need to and also the discussion. I think I think that you were the one that took the notes, um, from the discussion, um, that we had with them, and then some people share their feedback. So I think the next step is to kind of like see how we can connect to that community. I think I had mentioned this to um Toria as well, like if we can like um get a link to be part of their community where we can share, maybe they have like an open community where we can share um, you know, um like resources or things that we are doing community virtual sessions and how they can also be part of our community. I don't know to what extent they use Slack. If like some of them are like familiar with Slack, so we could like just have them be part of of like the community, right? Um, see how many people are joining. What's like, what's um, what ways we can make things easier for them. Um, so all these questions. Uh, and then more ways. I I know Project Enable. It seems they kind of like run sessions, like all the sessions. Like, are there ways we can even do sessions? Like, we can invite us to do sessions for them. You know, just keep that. Uh, conversation going and that collaboration like that connection going um so it's be helpful and then we're also trying to write a blog post so elizabeth had recommended that we could do like a blog post and i really think we should do it because it kind of helps uh, with like keeping things helping things be more visible Right, so I started. It's uh, there's nothing really there already. Like it's just a a structure that is there currently. It's not the best, but I know that there were a couple of people that did sessions and like people that were present. So we want to help out with pushing the blog post forward. Um, join the link. You can also join the slash and uh, the disability inclusion. I think that's the name of the channel. You can join that channel too. Um, to help out, I think mostly because the event wasn't recorded, mostly I think people that are that were in person can help out with the blog post mostly. But feel free to also like um ask questions on where you could help um so that we can be able to push out like the blog post we we'll see next week. Um, and then um I think I could also share those notes that you took and like. It would even help us with the post that we were just you know the next steps, things like that. But the event was really awesome. I thank you to Tori, uh, Winnie, Fred, Brian, and uh, Eclia. Um, although Brian and Eclia were not like there in person, but like they, they did a lot of work like, pulling things together, organizing the events. Um, so yeah, that's uh, how it went from the perspective and maybe next steps. Nice. Thank you very much, Ruth. Um, apologies if you could not um see my screen anymore. Um, it's because I had to switch devices. My PC is kind of low right now. Um, so I would like to um pass to the point to help me. Maybe blessing if you could help with the dot and um also take notes. Sorry. I didn't get it. Did you call? Sorry? Sorry, I didn't get a question. Sorry, I didn't get a question. I heard my name. Yeah. I said if you could help um, take notes. And 
also share the screen if you can. Oh, we have to take notes. Please give me a moment. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, so, yes, um, we have a few minutes left. Okay, we still have 15 minutes. Though. Um, would anyone from the from the accessibility, um, the organizing team for the project enable um, event, would they like to say something? Anyone? All right, so very quickly, uh, um, we have like 40 minutes left. Can we just talk about um, updates that we have from um, our various focus groups? I would like us to focus on um, where we are right now and the action items for the next, um, maybe the next two weeks before we meet again. And this is to help people that are just coming in you know, to know how they can actually uh, contribute, you know, who to approach, how they can get started. So for each focus group, what have you been doing and what do you intend to do in the next two weeks? So I would like to start with um, the, the design focus group. Please, if you'd like to go, very quickly, please, so that it can go around. Hi, I think I think I missed the question. Okay, so we are talking about updates from each focus group um, that we have. Can you okay, me? yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so um, that. can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Okay, so I I said I would like us to highlight the things that we would like to do the next two weeks, yeah, you will talk about what you're doing right now, what you're doing, but I like what you're about to do in the next two weeks so that people can know how to contribute. Okay, so um, so in the next two weeks, um, uh, pretty much um, we're trying to close out on um, OGO project. So I know one thing that is pending right now is um, um, there was this illustration. I actually had to jump on the, jump on the design because I think these guys needed it urgently. But I only did that for the web. So if um, there's an illustrator here that wants to, you know, jump on that design, right? Um, uh, for mobile, then you can, um, you can indicate, you know, probably message me on Slack. And, um. For now, I I think there are also a few other a uh, few pages pending, you know, design. So, but then I think it's just something you have to reach out to me. If you're also a designer here, um, let me see if I can share the link to this thing. So you just go through. Give me a minute. So if you're a designer on the call, you can go through this. And then um, if you have questions, you can also reach out to me. So this is actually um, the project we're focusing on right now. Yeah. So that's it for me. OK. Please, I would like to ask you about um, the Air Force project. Can you let us know where we are right now? Okay, so for our first project, um, I I know I did assign a couple of tags and then um, get to get get feedback from some persons, right? So um, the the part we need to focus more on the project right now is the admin part of things, right? Because of course the project is supposed to spotlight open source projects in Africa, and then we need an admin dashboard, right? Where um when users submit right the information like maybe main project maintainers or administrators right submit project information about the project right the admin can review and then confirm that 
right? So the last conversation I had, um, um, okay, the last person I was trying to work on that part of the design um, is Maya, right? I'm not sure she's on the call. Um, so she was supposed to close out on that. And I think some songs are pending. And two, I also believe um, Ajir is working on something. So I think Ajir was on the call. I don't know if she's there. So um, I think that's pretty much um, where we are, right? You know, because I, I also believe that's kind of like critical to, you know, the project. Um, one of the ideas we had explored before, but it didn't really work, was trying to use Google Form, right? And, okay, this one is on this call. Um, I think this one sort of said something, but we couldn't really, you know, have a call to discuss it further. So maybe we can still connect after this this one. I think that's uh, an open call, and I was also message you. So um, that's the much we have on um, um, this thing. But the reason why I said we were focusing on Ogo, um, you know, Ogo is also live, and then um, the core team, right? you know, also um, requested, I think, a certain timeline for the project. So not like everyone working on, I think we have different persons working on Afos anyways. Um, and we also have different guys working on Ogo. Um, but then I, I feel like um, the work on Ogo has been a lot more intense. And the issue we also have in, you know, Afos has been that I think some persons, you know, working on some screen being actually on you know, Slack and that but maybe in the coming weeks to probably look into that and then close out some of the pending stuff yeah okay thank you Kingsley um so if you I noticed that so someone said they are into Django I think that's um Deborah so Oga is um built with Python you might want to check that out and any other person, any other developer that you know writes Django, then for designers, product designer, and product uh, managers, the call you can also reach out to see how you can help with the project that they have at hand. So for us, um, the developers, what I would like us to do in the next two weeks is to clear all the issues on the budget um repo. Except for the front end, we have like 10 issues and uh, we have some things that are delaying on the website. So I'd like us to clear that up. So I'll be, we'll be doing more of this async communication in our channel. So expect me <laughs> in the channel and in your DMs so that when we come back in two weeks' time, we'll have uh, made so much progress. All right, that's it for the developers focus group. Um, let me hire you on the call. Okay. Um, Ruth, please could you help me? Am I missing out anyone? Um, uh, any focus group? Um, I think maybe Lami Lami is not here, right? About like the research thing, and then. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't get you clearly. Ruth. I think I don't know if you call like uh, is Lamy here for the research. Uh, okay, so Lamy is not here. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get updates on research focus later. Um, there's still a, um some things that we need to do with documentation. Especially um updating our contributing dot md to make it more robust. Uh, but uh, I, I'm not sure if we'll be able to focus on that this coming week. But I'll see what we can do. Um, but I know that uh, we, that that contributing dot md guide it needs to be updated. So if you are interested, also you can reach out to me and let's talk about it. Um, does anybody have any question before we go? We have just five minutes. Sorry, sorry I didn't. We, we, which of the projects are we working on? The, um, read me. So I'm going to add, it. I'm going to add that. I, I didn't get that. Like, which of the projects did you mention we are 
working on you with me. I, I didn't get the update, sorry. Okay, I said, the, you mean the contributor.md guide, right? Oh, yeah, I think so. For which specific um, project? Okay, which project? is the budget project. Okay, okay. The budget. Yes. All right, any other question? Okay. Okay, would Ruth, would you like to say something before we go? Um, I don't think I have anything to say. But everybody should go and talk on bottom of what happened. Okay, that's any deal. I'm joking. Everybody should do what? <laughs> No, I said this at the if, beginning if, of if the call. Did, yeah, if, if you didn't hear it, don't worry. <laughs> Those that oh, have it should do it. Who had? Who had? Please give me help. Oh, my God. Those that heard it. <laughs> I'll go back to the recording. Gloria. <laughs> there is a person she heard. Okay, Gloria, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Okay. Hi, Adinka. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so my network went off for a bit, and when he came back on, I just heard you saying, um, if anyone is interested, they should reach out to you. So I don't know what we are interested in reaching out to you for. Just before okay, um, so just before my blessing, ask something as well. Not quite long. Yes, I was talking about um, technical documentation, uh, okay. specifically the contributing MD guide for the budget project. I think we there's a lot we can do in the aspect of documentation. So I'm saying that if you really want to jump into technical writing and you love to contribute, reach out to me and then we can work something out. Is that fine? Yes, that's fine. Thank you. All right. Okay. So, Ruth, you'll be hearing from me on how doing anything you like. Wow. Wow. Uh, okay. Good. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about, so, but that was just. <laughs> I'll send you the bill. Thank you, everyone, for coming. We have uh, we had twenty one participants. Wow. Nice. Looking forward to see more people. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. See you right, take care, next everyone. time. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everyone. Okay. All right.